Kevin from the Artwork Of, and I'm the lead vocalist. I'm Alec, I play guitar. I'm Jake, I play drums. Dan, I play bass. We are a, I guess, kind of crossbreeding of just like old uh, punk and hardcore and uh, kind of bringing back to new stuff with a little bit of math Our music, we're just trying to be as raw as possible, as unformulaic as possible as most of the music that uh, people are hearing nowadays, and um, trying to keep it as punk as we can, because that's really what our, our kind of influences are, is growing up and what we listen to a lot now, a lot of the uh, very uh, unproduced, like chariot style music, uh, you know, Norma Jeans and whatnot. Um, and uh, trying to express a message about music that, you know, to, to actually get kids to actually think about what they're doing to music, and especially in Jersey, since that's where we're from. And personally, I love my state. So, um, you know, getting kids to actually think about, you know, hey, you, if you want to listen to new music, you got to go out to the local shows because that's where the new music is going to be found. Not the stuff that's been played for 10 years already. You know. Not to say, not to support them, but, you know, if you want to hear some new stuff, come out to some local shows. Um, we started listening to a lot of The Chariot, uh, Every Time I Die, Gallows, The Bled, a lot of like kind of new uh, punk metal blends, and I really try to base a lot of my writing off that, as well as um, old, like even like old Nirvana, old punk from the 80s, just like a lot of raw stuff, and not being about, that's really not as about being pretty, as long as it's having fun and playing what we really want, and just having fun on stage. Um, I mean, I've been listening to hardcore uh, pretty much since I started playing drums and uh, I I saw Streetlight Manifesto at uh, at Warp Tour and uh, I mean I guess that's a sort of different genre of music but that's what really got me into drums is ska but that's that's also sort of a turn on punk it's like punk with horns and um, all, like all those really raw sloppy drum parts I mean that's what I do best I feel like um, and that's really what got me into the music um, uh, Kevin, our singer, showed me the Chariot, and uh, uh, from there I sort of got into other bands like um, Norma Jean, uh, Scarlet, uh, other bands of the same genre. Every soldier can walk this line. recorded our first EP and uh, it's just being mixed and mastered now. Uh, we recorded it ourselves actually at our vocalist's um, dad's house and uh, we really went for a raw sound with all the songs that we uh, that we had already written both during the time where I was living in Spain and when I was here. I recorded the, uh, the EP. I have uh, my studio set up in my dad's basement and um, I thought that was, besides the fact that it, I don't have to pay any money for it, um, it, it gives us a lot more of a raw sound that, that's pretty much what we're looking for. Um, very, very raw, and uh, that, that really, I mean, obviously it really comes out because we don't have like thousands of dollars of, of gear and recording just in the basement, and I have just shop blankets set up around for soundproofing and whatnot. But um, yeah, that was, it. We, we, took, we took a weekend to sit down and actually record everything, all the songs that we've been playing for about six months since we started the band, and um, decided to make that into our EP and record it, got it done the weekend and um, I just got to finish mixing and mastering it and then it's going to be out about a month. We got a management deal with uh, Monolith Management and uh, our manager Gabriel Sanders and um, he's a pretty cool dude. He uh, answers all of our questions, he helps us out with everything and uh, we're trying to go on tour over the summer, um, hopefully have a full length album soon. Uh, our EP is coming out soon. Single, singles are already up on uh, Facebook. Welcome. Basically, within the next year, just try and spread our horizons. The message we really want people to understand is, just, you know, music doesn't have to be completely about. Just, it's just completely overproduced garbage. And having kids come out to shows again, um, one of the biggest problems we're having in Jersey is no one's coming out to local shows anymore. And especially bands that like us that are not necessarily like all about breakdowns. No one will give us the time of day, so uh, you know, no one's going to come out and see us. So it's, we're just really trying to make local shows a bigger thing in Jersey like they used to be and have kids come out to show.
find our music on facebook.com slash the artwork of. There's a link to our band camp there and you can get everything we have up there for free. Um, you can check us out on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Reverb Nation. Uh, we have shirts, we have sweaters, it's artwork of galore. Come to the Facebook and message us and you will get signed if you want. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, boss. Where did that go from? <laughs> uh, he's in the moment. He sounded like fucking Billy Mays. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was aiming for, honestly. I was trying to get a good sales pitch. Yeah, but honestly, message us on Facebook if you want a sweater or a shirt. It's like five dollars for a shirt and ten for a sweater. That's all. Um. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. The, the fart work of everybody. <laughs> I, I don't know when you that shit. What?